are on their way to meet Colleen. Um, and the kids fell asleep in the back. I just hope they don't get cranky when we need to wake them up <laughs> to take those photos. Because mm, last thing you want are cranky kids. But we'll see. We'll work with what we got, right? different than what you are used to see here on my channel but um, I did a photo shoot last year uh, in November 2022 with Colleen Lindhurst and I am so in love with the pictures that I decided to kind of put together a vlog and uh, maybe encourage you to put on your things to do in 2023 which is a to book a professional photo shoot. So um, first we're gonna tell you why you should consider it. And then I'm gonna give you three tips of how to easily navigate to a professional photo shoot if you have never done that before. So first of all, why? So I am a big fan of pictures. I just love how you can just like frame that moment of your life um, in the image and then you can look back and remnants about that. I love it more so when you have kids They grow so fast and I feel like I'm always taking pictures of them or them with my husband But I'm never in the pictures. I don't know if you can relate um, So it's just really nice to separate a time and just gather everybody and just like be mindful and you know have a good time and uh, make those moments little bit still so you can go back to it um, another reason is photos good photos make great gifts um, by matter of fact I actually used the photos from the photo shoot for two things last year one was my uh, family's Christmas cards the holiday cards and this is one of the pictures from the photo shoot that I love so much how cute is that and then I picked four other ones to use in the back. Super cute, right? And then on top of that, I chose, you know, my favorites, which was really, 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 really hard. And I put a book together so we can actually flip, flip through it. Um, I know we all have our pictures on our phones, but when do you actually sit down and have time to just go through it with your family? So that doesn't happen. And I love the physical aspect of a photo album. So I picked my favorites from Sebastian, from Lily, both together. We actually found a shark's tooth and she made sure to take a picture of that while we were doing our session. Some black and whites, family photos, some just with Frank, my husband, with the kids, which was very sweet. Uh, with me, yay, I have pictures of my children. <laughs> Uh, just the two of us. I love that she actually made time to take pictures of Frank and I. Like nice pictures, you know, not just like selfies. Because if we go out, we try to take a selfie, but it's never the same. More family, more black and white, some really different cool angles. And I think that's it. Yeah. Um, and then also for Christmas, I printed two of these albums in a smaller version and I gave to my in-laws and uh, one for my parents. So that's really good keepsake for your close loved ones. Um, Colleen, she does offer albums and prints so you can always you know, go for that too um, through the photographer. Okay, so three things that um, are very important if you are thinking of booking a photo shoot this year. Uh, number one, of course, the most important, it's find a good professional 
Colleen Lindhurst. I met her um, about two years ago when I moved to Florida. Actually, her kids and my kids go to school together and uh, she's just cool. She's just a cool, down to earth, amazing person. And then I found out that she was a photographer and I'm like, oh my gosh. I think I need you because when you connect with your photographer, um, you just see magic happen um, at your session. So Colleen Lindhurst, she uh, services Ponte Vedra, Nakati area. That's North Florida. So if you're in between like Jacksonville and St. Augustine, I'll definitely check her out. Or if you are planning on coming, you know, to this area on vacation, um, maybe you just want to separate a little bit of your time and fit a little photo shoot in. That would be amazing. I know a lot of people come to St. Augustine uh, on vacation because it's a really cool town. So most of Colleen's work are shot outside, I would say beach and woods. Uh, she does an amazing job with that. She also goes to your house if that's uh, your preference. Sometimes you have little ones and it's just like less overwhelming than trying to get them out. So she would do that too. She does newborn photos, uh, engagement photos, family photos. Um, again, she is amazing, super easy to work with. And every now and then she will um, get a studio and offer mini sessions. So if you don't have two hours, you know, to just go spend that much time um, for a photo shoot, she does mini sessions and it's really convenient. Tip number two, figure out where you're going to do your photo shoot. So what's your preference? Again, I feel like the most organic photo shoots happen in a setting that you're comfortable with. So my husband and I, you know, our family, we always grew up going to the beach. Um, actually, the one that we took those photos is Villano Beach, it's a local beach, and we love going there. Our kids love to go there. So again, just makes it even more special. Another thing that I loved about doing this photo shoot at the beach is that Colleen, she guided us through a few positions and like, you know, just to get her best angles, but we were really being us we were having fun the kids were playing with the sand we were looking at birds there's like this one bird that dropped a fish and then the other ones came to get it so it was really like a really fun time together and she does work through the organic even messy moments um to capture them for you which is really cool again okay so after pick your photographer and where you're going to do your photo shoot it's time for you to pick your outfit um again <laughs> colleen has everything laid out for you she has a service that helps you to pick your color palette your style go through that whole question, oh my gosh, what should we all wear uh, with you? And I did make a little video to show you how I picked out our outfits. So photo shoot is today. We're gonna meet around 4.30 at the beach. And uh, among many amazing tips that I got from Colleen, um, of course, after you know picking my palette, uh, she said, pick your dress first. So mama's dress goes first which I did. This is my dress, nice dark blue, some stripes. And then um, after that, I wanna pick Frank's uh, clothes first. Um, my husband, Frank, he, you know, I don't think it's any dad's favorite activity to do. It's going to a family photo shoot. So I just wanted him to be comfortable in his own skin. I just wanna pick something that he already wears he likes and fits him well. Uh, I did not want to go ahead and like buy something that would never uh, wear otherwise. So I went to the closet and I picked out something that he likes. So to give a little bit of contrast, I picked this gray shirt. It has like a little blue-ish tone, back tones to it. So I think it will look good against that dress and just his pants. It's not khakis, because he's not crazy about khakis. See, I need to iron all of that but it has this color, which is really pretty um, and soft. And I think that would go good. And then for the kids, kind of going with the same dark blue, rich tans, uh, Lily dress, which I got on Amazon. I just wanted something simple, nothing too crazy. So we don't have wardrobe malfunctions uh, through the photo shoot. Uh, it has a little open back, which is really sweet. Also need to be ironed. 
and um, I like the ruffles on the sides. I think it's very beachy. The fabric too, it's really sweet and has a little flow to it so she can twirl and um, get some really cool action shots with that. And then for Sebastian, also, you don't want to make him wear something too crazy. So I got these at Target. It's from Cat and Jack. If you shop at Target, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Has a little cute pocket, just makes a little fancier. Uh, little buttons. And I was between two different pants. One was a little darker version of what my husband is wearing or this gray jeans. But we, Colleen and I, decided to go with the jeans. I feel like with the wash, has a little faded, you know, area. I think it will be a little more interesting when it comes to pictures too. And that's how we're gonna go. And again, Colleen was really good guiding us through uh, the photo shoot. Uh, she was excellent at connecting with the kids and to get the best out of them and even the poses, you know, it was really cool. And then she had some ideas of them to play around us and that gave us like really cool shots too. Um, so I cannot stress enough, if you live in the area, check her out. I'm gonna post her information below. If you have any questions for me personally, feel free to ask them also. Um, and I hope you like this video. Let me know what you think of all of this. If you ever had family photo shoot or if you've never booked one and i'll see you around guys Mwah. bye <laughs> that <hair is> <laughs>